Hi friends, my name is Mickey Kelly. I am known as the Catholic Philadelphian and I am sharing a testimony on God the Father and His unconditional love. I think for me when I was reflecting on the unconditional love that God the Father has, He has gotten me through some of the most challenging times of my life. In the span of the last two years, I went through a period where I had, um, I escaped my life to the point where I was out of work for a few weeks due to um, an upper arm injury. I also had I also went through a position where I felt that I felt like my my gifts and talents were used at the in the proper capacity. And I recently took a hard look at myself and I realized, you know what? I gotta do this. You know, I gotta change. And there were times that, you know, I was beating myself up over the things I couldn't control, which and one of them was past mistakes. And sadly to me, one of the things that we must understand is that, you know, you, I think, and if this has been a problem for the most part of my life, is that I have been dwelling on my past mistakes and it hurts. But I do acknowledge one thing, and that is, you know, I am loved by him. I'm not identified, you know, by this or that. But I think what it boils down to for me is sometimes we're always hard on ourselves that, you know, we practically can be easy enough we can point fingers and just say that like you know point the finger ourselves i mean i don't see anything wrong with that but like you know sometimes there's always a life there's like a a learning lesson but i think what has really gotten me this far is god's unconditional love and i'm always reminded about that every time i look at a crucifix whether it be in the classroom, given that I'm a teacher, or a crucifix anywhere, even at church. I'm always reminded of that. St. Augustine once said, Trust the past to God's mercy, the present to God's love, and the future to God's providence. I think if when I, every time I, I, I hear this quote from St. Augustine, it makes me think that we all have a past, but we're forgiven. We're forgiven by God because he loves us at this very moment. And he asks us to trust in him. He wants us to place our trust in Him because of His love and mercy for each of us. I think for me, I'm going to look back at that episode. I always thought that God would love me because I, was, I wasn't I was using my talents and all that. But there were a lot of things that really, there were, there were some things that did help me. One of them was prayer, was frequent reception of the sacraments, helping those in need, 
And most importantly, realizing that God had a plan for me. I mean, it's easy that you think, okay, you know, I'm just going to give up. I think there's one thing we have to understand in order for us to trust in God's providence is we must listen to him, listen to his voice that that pierces through some of the quietest moments of our lives. In this day and age, it is a challenge because we're surrounded by a lot of bells and whistles with technology and what have you. But God is there. God is with us. For the good, the bad, and the ugliest of times. He wants us to listen to him. Even God said that to the apostles at Mount Tabor. And at, well, first during the baptism at the Jordan, and again at Mount Tabor. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. God can penetrate through some of the most silent moments of our lives. You may not realize it, but it's important. I think for me, I remember a couple years ago when I was out of work due to an upper arm injury. I was a victim of a crime. I hit rock bottom financially. And I did some something that I regret and restitution was made. And back of my mind, I thought, you know what, this was going to be it. Because I, I felt like George Bailey in, in It's a Wonderful Life that all the mistakes that I made, I thought, there's nothing for me. It was time to give up and even worse, just kill myself and eventually pass into that hurt on to others who would question, you know, what could have been, you know, how could I help, you know, help me. Padre Pio reminds us, do not distrust God's providence. Trust in God and abandon yourself to Him. Let Him take care of you completely and be calm so that you do not become confused. I think one of the things in our culture that we must understand is that Satan likes to confuse people. It's one of his biggest weapons. He used it in a way that we may not realize it. Like he's trying to tell us like, oh, this is good, this is bad. Like saying God's thing is bad, but his is good. And we fall for that trap. God's unconditional love is for everybody. Someone striving for sainthood, someone who is sinning, Someone who who hit rock bottom. Someone that feels like they want to give up. God wants us to trust in him. Always remember those simple five words that Jesus said, that, that St. Faustina would say to Jesus, Jesus, I trust in you. We too must trust in Jesus. 
in all the circumstances of our lives. There were times I had to trust in him. There were times that I have to abandon myself in him. There are times that I have to put everything, lay everything out. What has God me this for? Prayer. Weekly holy hours. Rosary. Finding people who are willing to build me up, not tear me down. People that want to hold me accountable for my road to sainthood. And of course, me holding them accountable as well. I think with all these things here, we're well on our way. But also, too, taking the time to listen to that soft voice that pierces in the quietest moments of our lives. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Always trust God's mercy. Always remember that you are loved by God. And most importantly, look to the future for his providence for you and your life.